enhance the productivity of extra long staple cotton, we will adopt a cluster-based and value chain approach through public-private partnerships. This will mean collaboration between farmers, state, and industry for input supplies, extension services, and market linkages. We will launch an Atmanirbhar clean plant program to boost availability of disease-free quality planting material for high-value horticultural crops at an outlay of 2,200 crores. Global hub for millets, millets which are Sri Anna. India as the forefront. India's at the forefront of popularizing millets, whose consumption further nutri furthers nutrition, food security, and welfare of farmers, said the Honorable Prime Minister. We are the largest producer and second largest exporter of Sri Anna in the world. We grow several types of Sri Anna, <laughs> such as Sri Anna Jowar, Sri Anna Ragi, Sri Anna Bajra, Sri Anna Kutu, Ramdana, Kangni, Kutni, Kutki, Kodo, China, and Sama. These have a number of health benefits and have been an integral part of our food for centuries. I acknowledge with pride the huge service done by small farmers in contributing to the health of fellow citizens by growing these Sri Anna. Now to make India a global hub for Sri Anna, the Indian Institute of Millet Research, ideally Indian Institute of the Sri Anna Research, Hyderabad will be supported as the center of excellence for sharing best practices, research, and technologies at the international level. The agricultural credit target will be increased to 20 lakh crores with focus on animal husbandry, dairy, and fisheries. We will launch a new sub-scheme for of PM Matsya Sampada Yojana, which is an existing scheme, but we launch a new sub-scheme with targeted investment of 6,000 crores to further enable activities of fishermen, fish vendors, and micro and small entrepreneurs, improve value chain efficiencies, and expand the market.